We've got a very, very pretty and quick card for you today. Perfect for a lot of occasions. Uh, Mother's Day, maybe a girl's night out. Uh, could be for a daughter-in-law, a niece, maybe even prom. Um, a lot of different things. It's called the Darling Dress Card. And I have it here in front of me. It's very simple. And I'll just kind of walk you through the assembly here. So we've got our, our main card here, the main base of the card. And this is, I believe this is a, a DCWV pattern. Let me confirm that. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, well, actually, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, first thing we're going to do is just kind of assemble the inside. Now we've got these two pieces to kind of stiffen up the card and add a little bit of color to the inside. I went ahead and I inked both both sides here with a, a little bit of a purple. So we're simply just going to take and glue this into place. And I'm just going to do the perimeter and maybe just a tiny little, a few little drops here and there. I just don't want this to warp. Now you're going to pop this in and try to maintain a nice even border all the way around, including right here towards the center fold. Okay, so very simple. Very simple little first step here. And you can see how we have a nice little even border going all the way around. Um, you can stamp, you can journal, write a little message, whatever you want to do. And then we have this piece here. Um, we do include a little print to cut, which I actually did with my silhouette. Uh, I've tried to do print and cuts with the Cricut, but uh, I think it's limited to printing on white paper and I wanted it on this nice cardstock. So I had to use my silhouette for that. Okay, so try to get that nice and straight, nice and aligned, nice and centered. And just pop that into place. Real simple. And you actually have plenty of room to write a message on here too. Now in our case, obviously, we're doing this for Mother's Day. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, so next step here is to assemble our main focal point. It's our little dress. And well, we can begin with the main piece here. Okay, now one thing to keep in mind here is when you go to place this, you'll notice that this little round area up here and uh, where the shoulder would be in the dress, that is gonna line up nice and flush also. At the bottom of the card here, there's a series of little score marks that you'll notice kind of wrap around these little features here at the bottom of this piece. But there is going to be a little silver area here, well in my case silver, that doesn't go flush with that. Okay, you don't want, you don't want your dress to be flush with that side. Just make sure it's lined up here, here, and that it's in between these little score marks here and whatever's left over here is totally fine. So don't, don't worry about the fact that that doesn't line up. That is totally by design. So let's get our glue on this piece here. And get your glue all the way out to the very bottom just to make sure that that stays, stays put for us. Okay, that should be enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by lining up the top, specifically right where the little shoulder piece is, then the circle up on top, and then I'm going to work my way down at the bottom where we have the little score marks. And I'm going to press that down and make sure that it sits nicely for us. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. All right, great. All right, there are two little foil pieces. Well, in my case, foil. Yours may be a different color. There's this little piece here, which we're going to glue right up on top, right there. And just make sure that you get that nice and straight, like so. So now I'm going to put this part of the dress on, just like that. Okay. So let's get our glue on the back of this guy here. There's uh, a couple layers that go on top of that, one of which we're going to add some foam squares, or if you have pop dots, you can use those too. I like the foam squares a little better because they, they don't move around as much. 
Okay, so just line that up nicely there, like so. Make sure you get it nice and straight. Okay, there we go. And then we've got these two pieces here. This first piece on the right-hand side, that is gonna go down flat onto the card. Okay, so just get a little bit of glue on this piece here, match it up right at the very edge there. Make sure that that is nice and flush. Okay, perfect. And now this piece here is gonna go like this, but we're gonna actually raise that up a tad. And we can do that with some foam squares or some pop dots, whatever it is that you have. And I'm gonna see if maybe I can just use don't know where my scissors are. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit right here in the center. Okay, I'll just peel that off. And I'm gonna pop that right into place like so, just like that, okay? So that adds a tiny little bit of dimension to it. And again, it's not as thick as the foam squares, so it doesn't show as much, which is nice. Okay. All right, so that just leaves this fancy dress here. Um, and what we're gonna do, I've already kind of pre-folded this because I did some inking, but yours is gonna come out like this, okay? And what I did was I started with the center and I folded at the first fold, folded it in like this, and then at the next fold, folded it in again like that, okay? And same thing on this side, you're gonna just fold it in and on the next fold, just fold that in, okay? Until you end up with this, okay? And that's what you want. Okay, so after you fold it, and I actually kind of made a boo-boo because I forgot to put my little panels on here. You gotta put these panels on first before, you, before we glue this together. So you can see my little mistake there. It happens, um, and it's not a big deal because we'll be able to hide it. So we've got two of these pieces, okay? And you can see uh, the shorter side is going to be on the outside of the dress. It only fits one way, so you'll, I'm sure you'll, you'll figure out which one goes where just by watching me do this. But go ahead and get your glue on this piece here. And this one's going to go on the right side of our dress. And we want to just make sure that it's flush and aligned with the bottom as well as the edge here. Okay like that and there may be a little bit of a gap towards the inside which is normal because obviously this is going to be folded over so you're not even going to see that and we needed to leave a little bit of a gap so that it would fold easier so that it wouldn't fight itself okay so let's do the same thing with the other side here get that glue out to the edge okay And again, just make sure that you've got the bottom nice and lined up. And then also the outside edge needs to be nice and aligned as well. Don't worry about the inside edge because that's going to be hidden. I just want to make sure that we've got this nice and aligned. There we go. Okay, now this is where you can decide if you want to use hot glue. It may make things easier and quicker for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue inside here in this little valley, okay? And then when we do that, I'm just squeezing out one little drop and I'm just kind of spreading it right in that little nook. And I'm gonna fold this over. And just hold that in place to let that really set. We want it to have a grip up here. We're gonna let it loose down here so that we get a lot of dimension, but we obviously need to keep it closed here at the top, and that's perfect. So just get your glue in there. And this little piece is hiding. I don't want you guys to get confused. It's kind of just hiding back there. We're gonna do that one next. Okay, so just be patient while that sets. We don't wanna, we wanna rush this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that with my finger. And then I'm gonna take and I'm 
I'm gonna take and drop another little drop of glue here. The last section, the little valley there, as you can see. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold and squeeze that in place. And if you get a little bit of glue that shoots out, it's not the end of the world because ultimately we're going to have a little bow that's going to be covering up this little top part. So it's, it's going to look fine. Okay. All right. So got that side all glued together and now we can take and add a little dot of glue into this next little valley here. Just a really small amount is going to get the job done. So don't overdo it because it's going to start squirting out all over the place and then you're going to have a big giant mess. We don't want that. Okay. And actually, you know, what you can do is just kind of squeeze it together and then hold it like that as we kind of make progress. Getting our glue into that little valley. And then there's just one more, that last little section here inside that valley. Once we, once we know that this has got a good hold, we'll do that next. I don't want to rush it. Okay. That should be good. Now we can kind of flare this open just a tad, tiny little dot of glue up there. I may even dab that a little bit so that it doesn't come squirting out too much. Okay, and then you can kind of place that on your surface and just give that a press. And hot glue obviously would work a lot quicker. Okay, and that is still trying to set. I kind of jumped the gun there a little bit. Okay, but Ultimately, you just want to make sure that these little areas here are free flowing, that you don't have them glued down so that we can get plenty of dimension out of them. Uh, I guess you could glue them down if you want it to be flat, but it's kind of nice when it comes out like that. Okay. So there we go. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Now what we want to do, we're going to line this up with the top of our dress. Now this time around, the edge of this is going to be flush with the edge of the card. Okay. So I might have to get my head in there a little bit. So just bear with me. Okay. And I think the solution here, the best thing to do would be just to put some glue on the back side of these two pieces here, probably all the way up to the very edge. Maybe just a little bit there. And I'm going to spread that out up to the very edge just to make sure that I'm getting good contact all the way out to the edge. And so that it doesn't go squirting all over the place. Okay. And then kind of, uh, well, I would start on this side here, get that lined up. And then as you're pushing that down, make sure you get it nice and squeezed together as well. So now that we've got, now that we've got the sides in place, uh, what I'd recommend doing is just taking a little bit of glue and um, probably let's see if I can show you here somewhere down just the center of the dress here on the inside, throw a couple little drops of glue in there You can see that. Okay. And then we're going to take and just press that down so that it stays nice and flat for us there. Okay. And as I mentioned, we're going to wait for that to really set, grab your hot glue and hot glue, a nice, pretty little bow right at the waistline there, just to kind of finish it off. It's going to hide the seam between the two sections and really make it look nice. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to finish this off. Oh, we also have the, I wasn't holding it down. I got to make sure to follow through on 
what I'm telling you guys to do. Uh, there's also this other little silver circle here. That's going to go at the bottom. I'm trying to multitask here. Get that on there. And that is going to go right. Oops. <laughs> I'm really struggling today. Right there. You can see there's a there's almost like a the outline of a little circle there just below where the dress is like that. Okay. I'm just going to pop that right on there. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you can see how we've got nice dimension there. Uh, the center part is in place, the outside is in place. And uh, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these really tiny little rhinestones and I'm going to create a little necklace right here with that. So take a look at the final photo to kind of see what that looks like when it's all said and done. And these little bows, these are, I think these are just pre-made. And I'm going to, you probably want to hot glue it just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just going to use a little zot to keep it in place for now. I'll make it more permanent later on. Okay, so our card is pretty much done here. We do have a little envelope that obviously coordinates with it. So I'll show you how that goes together here. And here is the base, the actual envelope itself. So let's just get everything nice and folded at the score marks. Now this is a solid scoreline version of the file. That everything on that was uh and this is what I mean by uh, sometimes I don't like the solid score lines because it's just sometimes they're just not they're not deep enough, but it works. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece, okay, and this piece is gonna go right here. And what we want to do is get our glue on the inside of the envelope here. I may have gone a little heavy on the glue here. And just work it around here, like so. And then take this piece here. Just make sure that it is below the white area here. We don't want it to go over the white area of the envelope. And then just make sure that it also folds. When you fold it, it'll kind of almost reposition itself if it needs to. Okay. And then we're just going to take our little flaps, bring those in like so. And just a little line of glue right along the edge. Just like that. And fold the bottom flap up. And then hold that in place for just a moment, let it set. Okay. Let's be patient. And there's that. And then we have a little feather for the cap. It is going to go like this. Okay, so just throw a little bit of glue on the back of this. Let me clean this off real quick. And we want it kind of like this. You can see there's a little curved area. You want that to kind of go along with the curve of the hat. And just press that into place. And there we go. And we can take our pretty little card. I am going to hot glue this down right now. It's just kind of sitting there in limbo. And you can see how nicely it's going to fit in there. And it's ready to go. 
So that's pretty much it for the card and the coordinating envelope. Take a look at your final project. If you have a little, any little areas, whether it be down here or up at the top that you feel um, need to kind of go down a little bit, uh, you can always you know, use the little painting technique that I've illustrated in the past where, and let me just show you real quick. Uh, so let's say for example, maybe your paper is really thick or maybe down here when we pop the glue in there it just didn't you know it didn't stay the way you wanted it to just throw a little bit of glue on a piece of paper and you know either pop it under there or put it up along the side or pop it up on top and then just press and hold it down until you get it to sit the way you want to this is 80 pound cardstock that we're using um, you know, and when we did our prototypes, we also used 80 pound cardstock. But if you're using a thicker paper, uh, you may need to give it a little extra TLC just to get it to sit the way you want it to sit. So again, um, you know, take your time. If you need to paint a little bit of extra glue in whatever area you want to kind of bring down, you could even maybe throw a pop dot in there. But I think that the dimension that we have here, as you can see kind of from the side, is pretty much what we're looking for in this project. Um, you could do a little more or you could do a little bit less by really throwing some glue in these little areas that kind of bulge out and make it more flat. It's up to you. It's still gonna have the dimension because things are layered, but with this, you can see how it's kind of standing out a little bit more. And I think that aesthetic is really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And if you make this or any of the projects from our new bundle, we'd love to see them. So join us in the official group on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group. And you can join myself and the 11,400 or so members that inspire us daily. So thank you for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.